hello and welcome in the next case of basics of normal distribution the case is in an examination number of students or total number of students 500 mean of the marks that is mu 52 number of sorry standard deviation of marks that is small sigma 8 find the number of students failing in the examination if the passing standard is 36 marks that means if any student obtains marks 36 or more he or she is declared the past student so who fails in the exam the student who gets marks less than 36 so first we have to find out the probability of any students getting marks less than 36 so let us calculate z first for x equals to 36 36 minus 52 upon 8 that is minus 16 upon 8 so z comes to minus 2 let us draw the sketch of normal curve x takes value exactly equal to mean so z is 0 and 36 is less than mean so it falls in the left hand side region so x is 36 here and z is minus 2 for z minus 2 the area in the table is 0 0.4772 that is the area between z0 and z minus 2 but we are interested in the area which is relevant to x less than 36 because we want to find the number of students failing in the examination that means number of students getting marks less than 36 so we are interested in this area how to find this area it's very easy as we know that the area of the entire left hand side region is 0.5 out of which we are not interested in this much area so subtract this area from 0.5 the remaining area is in which we are interested so probability of x less than 36 is 0.5 the area of entire left hand side minus 0.4772 the area in which we are not interested so it comes to 0 0.0228 now we are actually interested in number of students not the probability only so number of students failing in the exam equals to probability of x less than 36 into total number of students 500 that is 0 0.0228 into 500 so it comes to 11 point something it is 11.4 since 0.4 is less than 0.5 we take it as 11 only so out of 500 there are only 11 students or there can be only 11 students failing in the examination if the passing standard is 36 so if the passing standard moves upward say it is greater than 36 the number of students failing in the exam will increase if the passing standard decreases from 36 the number of students failing in the examination will also decrease that's it thank you